Hi everyone, today we're gonna work on um, French. We're gonna do some exercise. All right. Salut mes amis, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Bon, tu n'as pas de connaissance, vous avez l'air de l'autre qui travaille dans le bersercus, ils ont l'air français. Alors, et non, bah, qu'est-ce que vous avez l'air de l'autre qui travaille dans le bersercus, ils ont l'air français. Alors, et non, bah, qu'est-ce que vous avez l'air de l'autre qui travaille dans le bersercus, ils ont l'air français. So, guys, we're gonna put this in feminine. For example, I say, um, Um, français, française, un français, une française, un congolais, une congolaise. Okay? So, here, if you take a look, we have orphelin, un africain, un canadien. We're gonna put this on, uh, je mets au féminin, okay? So, I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to do it, okay? And then we're gonna work on this together, all right? So let's do it together. Okay. So the answer is Orphelin. Okay. And then an African. In N. Hein? Un Canadien, une Canadienne. Ok. We're gonna do next. Ok. Next. So here the answer. L'orphelin. Uh, so here is a masculine. This is one is a feminine. L'orpheline, l'orphelin, l'orpheline, an African, une Africaine, un Canadien, une Canadienne. Okay. You come here, un Quinoa. Un quinoa, une quinoise. Quinoise. Un congolais, une congolaise. Un angolais, un angolais, une angolaise. Une a ah. Oh. Ok. Un quinoa, une quinoise, un congolais, une congolaise, un angolais, une angolaise. So if you live in Kinshasa, right, you were born in Kinshasa, we call them quinoa if it's a male. The female, we say quinoise. Uh, Kinshasa is the capital city of Congo. Kinshasa. Uh, we say Congo, Kinshasa, okay? Next one. So the next one. You already answered. Un quinoa, une quinoise. Un congolais, une congolaise. Un angolais, une angolaise. So. Here. Un français. Un Un, un québécois. So the answer is gonna be so. This is gonna be une française. Une. Okay. Un Parisien. Une. Une Parisienne. Un Québécois. Une Québécoise. But be careful when you look at the Parisien. Parisienne. Hein? Careful there.
un Québécois, une, une, and we put that, hein? I, so when you take a look, there's a mistake. I'm going to give you three seconds to see it. Un Français, une Française, un Parisien, une Parisienne, un Québécois, une Québécoise. There's a mistake. We have a mistake there. Une Parisienne. Double N. Here. Okay? That's how we write it. Okay? All right, so. So, let me take a look. So, we're going to look at here. Un frère, you. So, if I say un frère, because it's one, right? But in this case, I'm not going to put un frère there. Frère, sœur. Un ancien, une ancienne, un indien, une indienne, un ami, une amie. Ok? So, I'm gonna stop here for today. Alright, the video is not that long, so thank you so much. Be patient and be kind to the others, ok? Don't just, the way you behave you. Doesn't mean that everybody has to behave the way you are. If you speak French well, you like those kind of accent. Then you you don't have to force everybody to speak like you. No. If you live in Quebec, you have your accent. I'm not gonna speak like them. Nope. If you live in France, you want them to speak like them. No, it's not gonna work. How? Because at home you have a different language. In Canada, it's uh we live in a society that. It's not like in South America or Africa or Asia, completely different here, all right? So um, my advice to you, uh, try your best as you can, okay? Don't follow what people want. You know, when you pass age of 18 and then you're trying to master the language, when you are nine, when you are, let's say you are 20, 21, 22, it's done. You're not going to speak like Canadian. I mean like American, um, French or the English, no, no. Americans speak English, but not like the British, okay? Each state, in state, like if you, you go in the U.S., in Michigan, they have their accent. You go in uh, um, California, they, are own, they have their own accent. You go in New Mexico, same thing, okay? If you want to learn American English, you have to be careful. You want to learn Canadian English, trust me. You know in Ontario, where in Ontario, uh Alberta, they don't have the same uh, accent. No, different. BC, different. Trust me. So the, the, the like even if you decide to go in Australia to master English there, same thing. But guess what? If you can write, correct? If you can write, read, you're good to go. All right. Don't burn yourself. Somebody wanna come. Oh no! It's, you have to speak like this. You have to ah. don't follow them. If you follow them, you're going to be behind in life. Eh? You have to be careful. Thank you so much. You guys take care. Bye-bye.